Hi teens and tweens, today we're working on chalk art. So you're going to need black paper. I'm using black poster board, some type of a dark background, and you're just gonna need some white chalk and your finger to blend. Uh, so let's have fun, we're gonna make an elephant. Let's get started. Okay, so you're going to be working on a flat surface. I'm just have mine on an easel so that I can show you better as to what we're going to be drawing okay so you're going to start about here with your chalk and remember you could always erase it chalk is easy to wipe away and we're going to make shape like this okay and then we're going to make an ear This is just the top of the ear. And we'll worry about the bottom in a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna make a line that curves like this. Okay. And you can connect this to it. Okay. And then we are going to curve down like this and then go straight down for the trunk. And now I'm going to make my tusk. So coming out of this curved line here, we are going to make a tusk. Oops, sorry. It's actually this one. Good thing it's chalk. Very easy to erase, just wipe your finger on it and blow. If you don't have chalk, you can also use um, a white crayon or um, a white color pencil. Okay, so right about here, I'm gonna make the other part of the ear. Okay, so you have to imagine this ear is falling off the page because we don't have any more space for the rest of the ear. Okay, and then I'm going to make two lines like that. And then behind the tusk, I'm going to put a line here for a leg. Okay. So you just see a lot of shapes right now and you're like, what is going on? Okay. We are going to turn your chalk on its side and fill in this part of the ear. It's much easier for you because you are lying flat on a flat surface, your paper. And then once you do that, you just take your finger and I want you to blend it in. Same thing on this side. And 
and we're blending it in. All right, so for the leg, I'm turning my chalk on its side, but I'm going this way, side to side. And blending it. spot right there and then I'm going to go back over it using just the tip of it again side to side skipping some spaces and then make sure you get a little bit in here Okay, and then through here, I'm going to add a few more lines on top of our smudged marks, like that. Okay, I'm going to put another line next to these lines so that I leave a black space in between. Okay. This is just a reminder of where I'm going to stop there. And then I'm going to take my chalk and I'm going to go side to side again. Smudge it. Add more to that over here. Just layering it, making it a little bit darker. Just smudging this. And again, just like over here, I'm going to start adding some side to side marks. And again, over here, I want to make sure that I leave a, a black mark. I'm actually going to wipe that a little bit. I'm going to put a line next to that line so that I know that right in there it's going to stay darker. Okay, and now I'm going to fill this in. Okay. 
More smudging. Okay, so we're getting there. I'm gonna go back over it like this. And then I'm gonna change it a little bit, the direction. I'm gonna kind of curve up. Kind of like the letter U. Okay. And now, how many of you did the Tangled Art with us last week? We are going to decorate our elephant with Tangled Art now. You're going to need a little bit of water. So I'm dipping my chalk in some water because it'll make it darker. So I'm just going to dip the tip of my chalk and get it a little bit wet. And I'm going to start over here and I'm going to make a spiral. Oh, hang on a second. All right. At first, you're not going to be able to see it as good because when it dries is when it really shows up. Okay, isn't that cool? All right, so I made a little spiral. And then coming off that spiral are going to be they'll show up in just a second for you. All of these little shapes. We're going to do that all the way around. I even put a few on the inside there. I'm going to keep wetting my chalk. Now I'm going to do some little dots on the top of the ear. At the bottom of the ear, I'm going to do some diamond shapes. I think I'll try and fit one more over here. In between those diamonds, I'm going to put a little dot. Cool. Okay, so now we're going to work at the top of the head. Let me see. Make sure I got my whole picture in here. Okay, so at the top of the head, we are going to, you know how we were making like a, a U shape? We're going to start at the top 
And I'm going to make a darker line across the top here. Let me go back over it again. Okay. And then I'm going to add like a little U. All the way around. Okay, and then the next line I make, it's just going to be another curved line. a little bit thicker I love how it kind of it's like you're drawing invisible at first until it dries and a split second later you can see it I think it's really cool all right, and then the next one, I'm going to make little rings that are connecting to each other. Try not to lean on this too much because I don't want to smudge all my chalk. So I made all those rings that kind of connect to each other. And then I'm going to make a diamond in the middle here. Voila! And then a circle and a circle. And then a diamond again. And a diamond again. Okay, so now we're moving down towards this part of the elephant. And I just, just I don't know if you could see it, but I keep wetting my chalk in the water every few minutes. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little dot, a medium dot. And then I'm going to make a shape like this and a shape like this so we are just using our tangled art skills from earlier in our classes we're making our elephant with it okay This is going to be kind of like a flower. Now I'm going to make some more dots and some swirlies. Wet my chalk again. And for the tangled art part, you can really do any pattern and design you want. So you don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing. 
or follow me. It's up to you. Okay, so after we have our patterns, then we're going to take our wet chalk and we're going to color in the tusk here because we want it to stand out darker than the rest of it. Give that a second to dry and see if we need to do any touch-ups on it. Okay. Try to make it a little pointier. I'm going to take some white and put it right here. Oops! It happens. It broke. That's all right. Actually, that's a happy mistake. I'll make a diamond out of it. <laughs> there we go. And I'm going to make a line right here, and a line here. This is still with my wet chalk. Just going over a few lines to make them stand out more with the wet chalk. And there you have it. There is our chalk elephant, half of our elephant. <laughs> and um, I hope you had fun today. Go wash your dirty hands and I'll see you next time.